Uh, Coach Ngomane, thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate it. How are you doing? Well, I'm um, fine. I can be better, but uh, I'm happy. <laughs> the sea license is finally over. We took it one day at a time, and I'm happy that at least we reached the final day. Uh, you were an instructor here, and you were the best person to take us through what the course entails and what do the coaches deal with here after 15 days. Look, it's quite an involved uh, coaching course. Remember, uh, SAFA and KEF have raised the standards to make sure that the requirements for these courses, particularly the C license, gives a solid foundation to coaches who would like to go all the way in terms of going to the B license and the A license and again to professional uh, coaching. So it was quite an intensive course, lasting 15 days non-stop. And uh, I really would want to start by congratulating the coaches uh, who came here. Really, they really put their foot to the ground. They started working and uh, it wasn't easy. Physically draining, mentally draining, but the level of endurance, you could tell that these are people who are driven by passion. They love what they do and hopefully we were able to meet their expectations or even more uh, but from the spirit from what you get the feedback that we get from them and from their performance when i look at their scripts their practicals one can only be happy that the future of coaching in south africa is bright uh, coach uh, we understand that uh, different environments uh, present different challenges and uh, we have a different type of player because of the South African conditions. Mm -hmm. How is the cause adapted to speak to the South African player but yet make the South African player or coach relevant to the international or global standards of football? Yes, it is often said uh, football is a global sport but the application of football is local. So we all want to do local development for international excellence. That is why in this course we begin with the philosophy, the South African football playing philosophy, which talks to the identity and mindset of South African players and South African people in general. Because the player is a microcosm of a greater community, which is the nation, which is the macrocosm. So our players, they come from a society that has got great expectations. They, they have certain demands in terms of the level of performance which they appreciate. And in this case, when we are training coaches, those coaches must be able to understand the philosophy of the country and understand the importance of South Africans to be able to express themselves. We are a country of opinions. Our players have opinions about the game. They want to play the game, but they, most importantly, they want to enjoy the game. So it's important that we have coaches who are willing to appreciate the identity of the players they are coaching as well as their mindset. To say, as South Africans, we've got to make ourselves better by appreciating what we are good at, but equally appreciating what we are not so good at. And in this course, we look at the positives and the negatives equally. And we say, how can we make it better? And I am certain that these coaches who came here have already started the journey where the seed has been planted. It's now their responsibility to go and continuously water the garden so that the seed can germinate and the country can eventually reap the fruits of their hard labor because all of them, they are committed to go back home in their own areas, in their clubs, in their communities to make a difference and it is that difference that we are asking for and I am certain that once we all combine uh, our energies to make a contribution in our own communities in our own areas where we come from or even in communities where we visit the journey of development in the country will have begun and over time will continue watering this garden so that a proper seed germinates to give us the proper fruit coach spoke about the philosophy of uh, South African football. 
uh, we often go to to AKC, AKC tournaments. We see Amajita, Ikebela, Itama, Yashibo, all yes. those things. Yes. And we say this is the culture of Southern Hindu. Uh, in, your, in your own understanding, what is the philosophy, philosophy of South African football and where is the distinction between philosophy and culture of South African football? Well, then we need to start with the definition of philosophy to say what is this playing philosophy, what is our understanding. And then I have to put context to say in the context of high performance football, philosophy will refer to a system of knowledge and beliefs so it's not just knowledge alone but it is beliefs the knowledge that we have as a country about ourselves to know who we are as well as the beliefs about our potential to say what are we good at that will define how football must be played in a particular country but that philosophy it has to be realistic it must be relevant, it must be distinct, it must be uniquely South African, it must be progressive, it must be able to adapt, it must be adaptative, we must be able to adapt it to the international demands, it must be successful. So this is very, very much important and I continue to emphasize this point where I look at the major objects of philosophy. The most important thing in philosophy is to discover what is true about a particular country. That discovery as well as the practice of what we will have discovered. Those are the two objects of philosophy. So you are basically saying who are we? We discover what is true about ourselves. If it is true that genetically most of our players will uh, possess is that then our game must be based on speed of actions because of our size because of our ability to be agile that demands that we play high speed football but again then the philosophy must be complemented by the proper facilities in our communities we got to invest a little bit more in terms of our playing facilities for our children even if it is uh, uh, soil pitch or sand pitch it is fine but let it be soft surfaces where kids are not at risk of injuries let's look after those surfaces it can be done but most importantly if we do not address the issue of proper surfaces playing spaces we risk losing the biggest tool the biggest weapon that we have which is our speed which is our creative thinking, which is our ability to mesmerize opposition. How do you mesmerize opposition in a field that is bumpy, the ball is bouncing all over the place? It overloads the central nervous system and as a result, our players are stressed on the field. So football must be about the reduction of stress. That's why when you talk of the Tsamayas, the Shibobos and all those things, South Africans do this thing intrinsically because when we do those things it makes our nerves to relax a little bit with relaxed nerves we are at a better platform for high level of creativity with that creativity and no fear of the opponent that's when you will see the best of south africans but the moment you bring in the element of fear to a south african player then you you, you lose the creativity and as such you you, you lose the identity of the South African game. Coach, uh, you said about food. Uh, I'm absorbing as much as I can. And I hope those who watch yeah. will absorb and learn from this. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Thanks very much. Thanks for the time.